Um, like, yeah, let's do this. Let's let's get out the shirt notes. Okay, so 71%. You get Fire Law in there, and we have a look. And it goes down to 11.2, so that is 35%. Okay. Hit me with your thing, break. Minus... <laughs> minus 1.9. So minus 1.9%. Fine. Okay. Put in on a disable. Ah, probably shouldn't have done it all at once. But... So that's minus 5.5 .5 with law and disable. Minus 5.5. Law plus disable. If everything goes on, I'm just gonna get past 100k, so me and myself. Do it. Law is falling off now, okay, and you're just um, only disable for 5 seconds. Okay, so that's disable now. So disable would take it to, oh, gosh, can you throw the disable back on? I'm so sorry. And disable 45.4 is just disable. Okay, let's throw, here's fire law. Okay, break, can you hit your maneuver? Done. Minus 16.6, okay, we have it all. Thank you so much, guys. That's law plus disable plus 20% champ. Awesome. You guys are all in a video. Thank you so much. Here's a bow. Oh, apparently he can't bow. Thank you so, so much, guys. You. Honestly, there's a bow. There's a bow right there. Hey guys, I just wanted to thank you for watching a little short little skit and we're just going to go into some mathematics to just prove exactly what we've seen or explain what we've just seen in the little video. Um, you know, a lot of guys were so stoked about the mitigation video, really got some positive response and we just wanted to share some of that knowledge now, you know, there's no point in uh, knowing things and then not sharing it and just helping other people kind of get a little bit better at the game. So today we're just going to talk about debuffing outgoing damage, exactly what it is and how it works. Um, as you can see, Vape had 171% mastery damage. And what I wanted to highlight in column A is everybody has 100% base damage. If you have zero mastery, you do damage. It's the same when you do a T1 boss. They don't have a plus percentage damage uh, corruption on them. But when you step into a T5 and they've got the plus 250% it's also that plus the 100% they've already got. So they're hitting you at 350% damage. So you can get the idea. So what we're doing is we're going to add column A and column B together and we're going to get ourselves 171% damage. That is his outgoing output damage, whatever you want to call it, total damage. And then as I debuffed him and I got those amounts that are read out in the video, I've just added them to the 100%. So even when they go into negative, we just add the minus 1.9% one, 1 to the 100% and we get ourselves 98.1%. Now to explain this, I wanted to talk about the two types of debuffing you get. You get multiplicative debuffing, which means it affects the entire damage. It affects not just the damage that is visible, but the hidden damage as well, and it affects the entire pool. You get subtractive damage, which basically means if this thing says it minuses 20% damage, it literally just takes 171 minus 20, i.e. the champ's horn. So what we found through our testing is there's only four skills that are multiplicative, i.e. the really good debuffing skills. It's Fire Law, it's Frost Law, it's Disable, and it's Addle. Uh, so far, I mean, things could change, they could stuff things up, you know, SSG has done these things before. But so far, those are the four skills that are actually really good. And so now we'll explain to you how it works. If you notice when I used Fire Law on him, his out mastery went from 71% to 11.2 and you might think but, but that's not 35% wait well how does that work what i did is i kind of just from column e onwards i've drawn up to try explain to you what fire law has done what adults done okay so we start off at a starting point of 171% now i take 35% of that 171% 
and I get 59.85. Now I minus that from the 171 and I end up in column I with 111.15% of the file law. And if we look at what I got, I got 111.2% just from reading his um, tooltip for his melee outgoing damage. Awesome stuff. Then we got loft to throw a disable, which is at 15%. So 15% of 171 gave us 25.65 minus the 171 leaves us with 145.35 which is exactly what we saw when we just kind of browsed over his tooltip again. Okay. So you get to the understand the, the whole concept here is that file law and disable just work on total total outgoing damage. That's 35% of the total amount. That's why highlighting how good a file law swapper book is to take it from 35% to 40% is like it's a necessity. You can't actually raid without it. And that's why law masters need to do book swapping. As you can see in all my videos, I do book swapping, even if I don't even think it's the case. And also just on that, uh, fire law works on melee skills. And a lot of things like the Nazgul fight, yeah, they're hitting you with a melee skill, even though it's going through your tactical damage, that it's like a warden where it generates from melee, you know, and it converts to light damage after the fact. And that's exactly how things like the Nazgul fight works you still need to do book swapping even though it's all like tactical damage it's actually from a like a melee source if that makes sense because there are three sources there's melee there's ranged and there's tactical so you're debuffing those okay let's crack on um okay here we hit where i hit phylor and then break hit champ's horn and we took it down to minus 1.9 percent i.e 98 so here again I can't take fire law now on the 171 because the way it works and reference to this formula that break actually provided because my brain made stupid formulas that people wouldn't understand and basically his formula just says total damage i.e c3 in this case the 171 minus subtractive debuffs i.e champ's horn bears raw that's 40 percent uh bear slam wardens assailment stance you know gambit thing that re removes like nine percent damage or whatever so basically total damage minus all of those things all of them in a line just bod mass star in brackets times one or hundred percent minus the debuff so basically i.e the damage that's still coming through so in this case it would be 65 percent because that's 100 percent minus file or at 35 percent okay so if you look at that then it's 35% of 151% because I have taken off the champ's horn of 20 and that gives me 52.85 and so I basically take 171 minus 52.85 minus 20 and I get myself 98.15 which is exactly what we read off his tooltip. We do the same thing here, uh, fire and frost law, I mean I find frost, fire law and disable together still exact same thing go to the formula 171 percent minus zero because we didn't use champs horn in this case in brackets times one minus the debuff so it, fire law would be 65 percent i.e damage still coming through times 85 percent which is the damage coming through after disable i.e 100 percent minus the 15 percent of disable so here i attribute and, and this is bot mass so it doesn't matter if you switch around and do disable first and then fire law doesn't matter i just did this so you can physically see what's happening uh, 171% minus the 59.85 minus the 16.67 of disabled because remember it's doing 15% now of the remainder i.e. after the fire law so it is going to be a bit less than obviously if it's just disabled by itself anyway we get to 94.48 which is what we got when we read his minus 5.5% mastery you can see, you can kind of see exactly what's happening. In the last one in row eight, we threw all of it on. We threw Fire Lord Disable and we threw the Subtractive Champs Horn. And then exactly just go back down to the formula, 171% minus the 20% times. And then the damage that's still coming through, i.e. the points, uh, the 65% and then the 85%. And what we equate it to then is 83.43%. So you can kind of get the idea and you can start to see straight away subtractive debuffs are really good they do take the amount down i mean if you can look at the difference between the 94.5 to the 83 it's still a, like more than 10 percent damage reduction even though the champs horn says 20 percent it's not going to be 20 percent of total damage output it's just 20 percent of the mastery output but still really good i mean 
all debuffing is 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 obviously vital you know to reduce that outgoing damage and stuff and also if you can just time it when you know big hits are coming but i think what this highlights is multiplicative debuffing is the most important your fire law your frost law your disable and your addle those things are paramount if you want to be able to survive and do harder content and yeah i really just want to give a massive thanks to uh lofa and break just for coming out to the moors helping me with the debuffing you know sitting there letting me do the maths and all of that i i really respect the dudes and uh yeah i really hope this helps you and your raid group cheers guys bye